Hi Virgo, welcome to Blue Hill Tarot. We're gonna do a start the week video, general but focused energy around you. Today we have a Cap Capricorn moon. We have an earthy moon uh, through tomorrow. Um, and then we move into uh, Aquarius moon. We're going into May and the tarot card for May um, Virgo is the death card. So there could be some transitions and changes. Uh, number four for the numerology for this uh, coming month of May. So it speaks to more balance for some of those transitions and transformations and all the T's, you know, uh, for the energy. So um, let's see what shows up around the general focus. Um, this is Blue Hill Tarot. Please support my channel by subscribing, liking, Sharing comments are always welcome. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. This is the everyday witch tarot. Okay, so there are things moving towards the Virgo. The things that the Virgo has been working on. Okay, so um, this card came out. I'm going to put it uh, to the side looking in. It's a card of things moving toward you. Your first energy is some tension arguing words that don't make you thrilled you may be saying them or you may be receiving them it's going to have you wondering worrying taking the issue from here to bed next week this is you as the virgo you're not going to deal with it for long though look at you spinning that big wheel i love to see the virgo connected as the wheel the wheel of fortune now uh, this is in, in position three this says you you got this so remember that when you do deal with some circumstance or if you're dealing with it now and you're overthinking it and you're losing sleep or worried about something, you're, you're giving this situation that may be trivial and you'll, you'll know what it is if it's happening to you right now, too much of your energy. So look, you're going to move through quickly to the trusting and believing of the wheel and there you are. Good news. And then we have the energy of making some decisions. And it could be about things that you've been casting out, uh, you know, uh, applications or invitations or energy towards. You're going to get some, you need to do something else, okay? You need to make some other tweaks to what it is that you've been casting out, Virgo. Uh, listen to your intuition around that circumstance. The energy of the Hierophant, learning a lot. It also could be that you're having some words or exchanges with uh energies of a Taurus or an Aries. The tower is here. This is a tower of change, uh, speaking to the energy of the death card, the transition, transformation. It connects the, uh, directly with you. So going into May, some of you Virgos need to plan or expect or be, you know, in the right present state of mind. Mind is a loose term. Uh, to, you know, expect some change and don't let yourself get sucked into overthinking, uh, developing insomnia. Dreaming is great, but uh, all the other, this energy will weigh heavy. Work will be good. Looks like going into May, you'll be doing some good things around work. And the Seven of Wands says you're staying above all the things you're responsible for and showing up and doing your best. On the bottom of the deck, we have the energy of the judgment card which is a scorpio it's also an energy of you you being strong on your path right now virgo so let's get a few other cards here virgo virgo for start the week messages and clarity here see what we receive around this energy okay so there's another earth sign here too consequences the chariot temperance look at all these energies there you whoa okay so for some of you um this is uh definitely you see we have virgo and virgo uh connecting okay so i have virgo in position three with the wheel of fortune that's a virgo energy directly you and then I connect position three and position seven. This is a card of creative energy, of problem solving, of manifesting, of being artistic. Beautiful. When you're vibrating high as the energy of the three around you, you know, you can just 
solve issues and things pretty darn quickly. This is position seven, your spiritual path, Virgo. So uh, you're being still and watching changes happen. So uh, if you have another Virgo in your life, you're, you're seeing change around that relationship. Um, I don't see any indication of anything, um, you know, but moving around the relationship improving i although i do see yeah you know prior to this uh energy that i just spoke of you have been concerned about you know a deep connection with another earth sign some of you virgos have been uh concerned or you know thinking a lot about a, a connection you have with another virgo a taurus or a capricorn at the center uh you're charging ahead this brings a cancer and a sagittarius into the possibility of connections for Virgo. This is a Sagittarius Taurus. It's also the energy of temperance. These cards work really well together in position six. They're both beautiful omens about being balanced, testing the water, uh, not jumping in up to your neck, taking care of things. So if you have some stress around money or finances or something to do with uh, something you're trying to accomplish materially. And there's a Sagittarius, a Taurus, an Aries, um, a Scorpio connected to it. Um, it. It's showing up here, but you're gonna get, you're gonna solve the issue. The thing that I'm wondering about here is that in position four, uh, we have the energy of consequences. So some of you are dealing with consequences around some choices and decisions with uh, concerns around somebody here. This will be a Cancer Sagittarius. This is a Taurus Aries. This is a Taurus Sagittarius. So if you're a Virgo and you have some uh, intuitive insight or some things that you're deciding around a connection with one of those, that's gonna be definitely something you're gonna work on all through the week. Moving forward though in position nine, you got, you know, you staying above the fray. This is the unicorn energy for me. You know, you have a lot going on, but you're staying above it all, doing what you need to. And then you have the security around your foundation. So overall, it looks very positive. I would say to you, whatever these consequences around are, if it's not connected with one of the energies I mentioned, that's, you know, it's a general reading, it's possible. It will be someone that's around your foundation, something that you're familiar with when it does cross your path, if it hasn't. And it's nothing you can't handle, Virgo, because all the energy is positive. Just keep vibrating high. Okay, Virgo, have a great week. Thanks for stopping. Please subscribe to Blue Hill Tarot.